So in the following example, we are going to calculate uh, something involving the period of a pendulum. And in this case, let's read the question. It says, determine the length of a pendulum that has a period of two seconds. So we're, we're going to talk about what a pendulum is first. Well, if you think about if you have a grandfather clock or anything like that in your home, the pendulum is that thing that swings back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. And so the period of a pendulum means how long does it take to complete one of those rotations or one of those swings, if you will. That's what that period is. All right. In this case, there's a formula that relates the period to the length of the pendulum, in this case in feet. So this formula is very specific to the units of feet. Okay. So if you're using any kind of imperial units, uh, like feet, then this works. So you just have to make the conversion to feet. If you're using any kind of uh, scientific uh, measurements, scientific international SI units, uh, then you, of course, would have to convert to feet in order for this to work. Okay, so the period of the pendulum uh, right here um, is related to the length uh, in, of, in feet of this pendulum. So let's read the question one more time. Determine the length, so we're solving for L, of a pendulum that has a period of two seconds. So we know P then is two. All right, so let's write down what we know. Well, we know that P equals two, and we know the formula for the period P equals two pi over, or times rather, the square root of the length of the pendulum in feet divided by 32. All right, so let's go ahead and set that up once more. Two, in this case, equals two pi times the square root of L over 32. So the first thing we need to do is isolate this square root thing right here. And what we're going to do is divide both sides first by two pi. So then it looks something like this. This crosses out. This right here also crosses out. So we're left with something that looks like 1 over pi equals the square root of L, the length of the pendulum in feet, divided by 32. Now we need to square both sides to get rid of the square root. And we do that like this. Okay, so 1 squared, of course, is 1. And pi squared is just going to be pi squared. And that's going to equal L over 32. Now to isolate L, we simply multiply both sides by 32. And that should do it. That tells us the length of our pendulum. The length of the pendulum is 32 over pi squared feet. So this is how long the pendulum is that has a period of two seconds. So uh, an interesting example, and of course, if you're given a length, you can just plug in the L value and you get P, the period in seconds. But it's not too much of a difficult problem here. Just consider what a pendulum, in it, pendulum is and understand the concept, uh, really, of, of what the period of a pendulum is. And that's how long does it take to make that one complete swing across.